Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. I was just out about dealing with some stuff and then I was on my way home and I was driving past West Emmett's Mall where there's this massive Lego store that I always go to and my car just like turned into the parking lot of that mall. It's like, yeah, sorry buddy, you gotta go to the Lego store today. So yeah, I guess we're gonna be doing some Lego store shopping in this video. How exciting is that? The first thing I did was run over here to check out this area in the Lego store. Oh man, they got the uh, Natural History Museum back in stock. That wasn't in stock on January 1st, so I'm happy to see it here, that's for sure. Not that I'm going to be picking one up today, but it's just good to see it in stock. I also got to decide whether or not I'm going to get the Polaroid, because I decided to put the Polaroid back when I was here on January 1st. I just don't know if I necessarily need the Polaroid. It does look pretty cool though. It's 100 bucks, 516 pieces. I do like these though. Are those like vinyl or like paper or they like, what are they? They look sort of thick. I don't know, I haven't watched any reviews on the Polaroid. I sort of want to pick up another A-frame cabin. I just feel like that is a great Lego idea set from 2023. Probably, no, definitely in my top 10 sets of 2023. Like it's gotta be there. The part usage was amazing, and also those trees. So I came here today and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be making a purchase. And then I walked over to this section and I was like, oh yeah, we're for sure gonna be making a purchase because they got all these Minecraft sets in stock. No, I'm just kidding. They've got the Piranha Plant in stock. This is the first time that I've seen this awesome Mario set in stock. 540 pieces, 80 Canadian dollars. But this thing is beauty. It's like the display style that I like for my Mario stuff. Just like the uh, muscle car. It's just going to display great with all of my Mario stuff, right? Beside like the question mark block or something. Oh yeah, that's epic. For sure got to get that. Next to that was all this dream stuff. And there's also a new set over here as well that they still have in stock as well. And that is the T-Rex skull. That was just a beauty. The issue with them having the piranha plant in stock is the fact that now I'm handcuffed. I have to spend $245. Well, I don't have to, but I'm just like that. You know, if I don't get a nice little GWP when it's available, I'm already gonna spend 80 bucks. Oh man, it's another $165 to get the GWP. But I think this GWP of like the hot dog truck is definitely a winner. It's only gonna be available for I guess quite a bit uh, more time because it's available until the 16th of January or while well, supplies last. Over here in the Marvel department, there are some new sets that I was eyeing up but didn't get. I like this one here specifically because of the Venomized Green Goblin. Check out that figure, that is sweet. I also like this one over here because of the Ronin figure that you get. Look at Ronin right there. I do not have a Ronin in my collection. I'd have to get Rockets Warbird versus Ronin to get that. Let's see if there's a full body shot of him. Oh, there is. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and then there's also the uh, X-Men jet right over here. The X-Jet comes with Cyclops. I do not have a Cyclops in my collection, nor a Rogue, nor a Magneto. I do have Wolverine though. But look at that Cyclops figure. Ooh, that is a cool looking fig. $110 for that bad boy. I actually don't have this and it's on sale. This is the Pirate Snub Fighter. You get the Snub Fighter Pilot and also Vane. It's on sale for $36 from $45. Oh my gosh, I was at Walmart the other day and I ended up picking up three of these. They're the Clone Trooper Battle Droid Battle Packs where you get like three super battle droids two regular battle droids, three clone troopers, and one clone shock trooper. I bought them at Walmart just the other day. Like, maybe I should go return those because they have some in stock right here and I'll get my VIP points and I can put them toward that promo. Ah, that's why I don't really like buying Lego from Walmart. Although I am tempted when I go there with my family to buy groceries. I think I just found my next purchase. This is gonna be a great investment set right here, I feel, because it's got that Fast and the Furious branding. This is Dom's Dodge Charger, the 1970s Dodge Charger RT. 
345 pieces, normally 30 bucks, on for 20, or sorry, on for $20.99. You so get uh, $9 off. That's like 33% off. I think I've got to get one or two of those. Like, that makes sense. They must be preparing for like new speed champions or something. Oh yeah, because the new BMWs are coming out in what, March? Yeah, and I don't see uh, the skyline here from the Fast and the Furious, nor do I see the James Bond Aston Martin. So I bet you this one here is retiring soon. I don't see anything on the pick and build wall that's like overly exciting. I will say that it's pretty barren. Like there are a lot of open spots. I'd imagine they're waiting for their 2024 shipment. And I'm really excited for those to start coming in because it's always pretty lit. I like this right here though. This is the Azure one by four bricks. Those are really popping. Think about how many of those you could jam into the new PAB boxes. So they've got the small boxes and the large boxes. You could jam a lot in there. They do have one by four plate up here. I think I have enough one by four plate. They also have some two by eight plate right down here, the green ones. I think I have enough of those too. I could be wrong though. I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure my my green plate drawer is overflowing. However, I do need some of the, like it's overflowing with two by, I do need some more like four by, whether it be four by six, four by four. And that's actually the same case with dark gray. Believe it or not, I'm actually running low. I mean, I've built a lot of those plates. It's actually crazy. But I don't think I see anything overly interesting here on the pick and build wall. Okay, this is becoming ridiculous. Like, this is getting ridiculous, isn't it? They just can't sell these or what? The Haunted Mansion? So it has 680 pieces, comes with that minifigure, regular price 55 Canadian dollars, on for $32.99. What's the percentage on that? What's 33 divided by 55? Looks like they've got Series 25 minifigs in stock, and this is definitely a fresh case. So you go through, pick that one, this one, this one, this one, and then you'll probably get a good variety. That's the way, because these three will be the same, most likely. These three will be the same, most likely. So you can go through and sort of pick the ones you want. Plus, I've been seeing on the internet that apparently you can look at these QR codes on the bottom, like those numbers right below the QR codes, and apparently that's gonna tell you which figure is which. I only need one more, but sometimes I buy more of these just to have them put away for the future, just why not? And also I sell some CMFs on whatnot as well, just because sometimes people are looking for, I don't know, the mushroom lady there. They can't find it, and then I have it. Or this guy, the vampire, what is it? Knight, vampire knight? such a cool figure or the triceratops lady so i like having them just during my whatnot streams as well it just makes sense to have some of these available for the people that are looking for them or looking for specific ones there's also all the new creator three-in-one stuff like the ukulele and the watering can and the hamster wheel also these adorable dogs up here i think the magical unicorn no that's an older one right and then also the wild safari animals you get the giraffe and the flamingo and that cool looking tree Honestly, the one that intrigues me the most is this astronaut right here. Isn't that cool? I sort of want to get that. 70 bucks. I'm thinking about it. This new Lego City space stuff is pretty fire as well. Look at that vehicle. And this spaceship. Even the little mini spaceship. And that vehicle. Pretty cool. It would be nice to like make some sort of space display. I don't know. That's crazy though. Like investing in things like that to build a space display. You definitely need a lot of space for that. Oh, and it looks like they have the family reunion celebration over here as well. I still sort of want to get this set as well. Look at all those little baby dinosaurs. Totally worth it, isn't it? How much is it? $65. I made my first purchase and I got one of the GWPs and now I'm having a classic latte here at Starbucks and I'm contemplating, do I go back and get more Lego? Now that 
is a tough decision. The uh, stuff that I got didn't include that astronaut, and I sort of want to get that astronaut. And you can never go wrong with more battle packs, more clones. Plus, I'm thinking to myself, I bought those three clone shipper battle packs from Walmart the other day, and if I get three today, like between the two purchases, then I could go return those. But I would get a GWP and I would get my VIP points on the purchase. Probably would be a smart move. And I don't have to go do it today, it's just next time I'm at Walmart. Lego math, a different style of Lego math though, right? All right, a decision has been made. I'm gonna grab two more battle packs. And this is one of the main reasons why I wanna make another purchase. I just really wanna get this astronaut. I think it's gonna be such a cool build. The alternate builds, you know, it's a dog in a spacesuit and a pretty cool looking spacecraft, but the astronaut is actually pretty sizable and looks good. Also, oops, it includes a stand. How cool is that? Something I didn't get when it originally came out is this set, the Tales of the Space Age with 688 pieces. These things are actually bigger than like the box art shows them, I think. I don't know if there's gonna be the dimensions on the back here. Oh yeah, see, they're bigger than what you would think. So they're nine centimeters or three and a half inches wide, 14 centimeters or 5.5 inches tall. You can see them compared to that lamp there in that lifestyle image. They're actually pretty neat. I'm considering it. Might be a cool little display set right by that astronaut. And you know what, Chewbacca? Why not round it off with a 501st Battle Pack? Already Z Blob. I think it's Z Blob. I still haven't seen Dreams on YouTube. I think it's a YouTube program, right? I really should get on that. Maybe I'd have a bigger passion for the sets then. But I got a couple battle packs. Not bad. Then we've got two space related sets, a GWP, and then, like I mentioned, I made another purchase as well. As I mentioned, this isn't even my fault. It's my bloody car's fault. It's the one that turned into the parkade. I didn't want to go to the Lego store. <laughs> it's hard to say no when they have like these epic GWPs, the Lego Icons hot dog truck, or like the Lego Icons vintage taxi, or the moving van, or, or like the moving truck, or that like uh, vintage car with the surfboards on the side. Those GWPs are awesome. They always offer them, I think between like, like we saw there between January 1st and January 16th. It's hard to say no to getting multiple of those GWPs because they hold a pretty good value over time. Funny thing about Lego prices though is if you're not getting something on the side, whether it be a discount, GWPs, or double points, and I'm not buying Lego unless I, I'm at Walmart, I guess. <laughs> unless I'm at Walmart, I guess. I don't know why I did that. It's a funny thing about Lego prices though is they've they've risen them so much that they pretty much always have to have a promo going to encourage people to buy stuff. I'm not sure if that's a marketing ploy, like if it's beneficial for them to do that or if it's just beneficial for them to have a little bit, a, lo, prices a little bit lower. What do you think? Seems like people like GWPs and they like double points, but we also don't like higher prices. I think the price hike was in what, August of 2022? And ever since then, I don't think I've ever bought Lego unless there was some sort of promotion on. Are you the same way? Let me know. Melee, are you gonna show everybody your beautiful outfit? Or are you gonna throw things at me? Hey? Benjamin, you have a beautiful outfit too. It's got dinosaurs on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, did he take your ball? It's a tragedy. All right, I'm back home and I dealt with a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, which is like uber exciting. It's just been a ton of work and it's been sort of slow rolling here for the last month or so. But it's uber exciting. That's all I can say right now. Oh man, we got a pretty big haul today though. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> uh, I might have overdone it a little bit. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah, we got the uh, piranha plant, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, I should build that right now. I might bring it up there in the kitchen table and build it with the family before we eat dinner. 
Look at those pieces, like the uh, quarter round ones, like these ones on the top. What do you want to call them? Like quarter spheres, I guess I'll call them. Woo! <laughs> hey, we actually got, Jose got a new Mario game. I can't remember the name of it, but we've been playing it on our Switch. Oh, it's just a lot of fun. The Mario characters become like elephants. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I forget the name of it. It's fun. Though. And then I got three of the uh, Clone Trooper Battle Pack with the Battle Droids and Super Battle Droids. One of those bad boys right there. Two of the promos. I did end up getting the Tales of the Space Age. I think that's going to look cool with some of the other space stuff. And same with the Astronaut. I got two of these to stow away for the future because it was a really good deal. And then 12 of these minifigures. Hopefully there'll be a good variety. And hopefully I get the one that I need for my collection. Because the rest of them are right up there. But I think that Astronaut's going to look good with some of the other space stuff. Which is actually right up top there where we got the ISS, the Saturn V, the Space Shuttle Discovery, and all that good stuff. So yeah, put the astronaut up there. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Unexpected stop with the Lego store. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I know those GWPs won't last very much longer. I think they're good ones to get. I wanted the astronaut. I wanted more clones. I wanted the piranha plant. Piranha plant. <laughs> also the Tales of the Space Age. Not bad. And then a few things just to have. It's like a larger clone army and a uh, Dom's Dodge Charger. So everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. I'm gonna go uh, hang out with my family as for some reason the day has gotten away from me again. I feel like I didn't get much done today, but I sat on the computer for like two hours editing and dealing with like phone calls, actually more than that. Plus I was dealing with a meeting that I had this morning at 10 before I magically ended up at the Lego store. Everybody, remember to have yourselves a great day. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.